Kyle and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be giving an honest review of Lunchables versus the new Mr. Beast Lunch Leaves, who did a collaboration with Prime, so KSI and Logan Paul. I'd like to warn that there is loud chewing in this video. Oh right, special guest, my father. This is Father Andre, for those of you who have not seen Father Andre from my previous videos that he was in partially set to zero let's see what the real business is so uh this total package weight 12 ounces just under 13 ounces lunch leaf one pound four ounces it comes with capri sun you which one goes on i'm guessing that goes like that yeah probably okay, okay so there's total of total of three there's there's three pizza pizzas. crusts Yes, three pizza crusts. We got this sauce. It looks like it has like seasonings in it. Oh, it has seasonings. It looks like it has stuff Fancy. like oregano or some, I don't know. What do you put in like pizza sauce? Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's getting fancy with it. She got the swirl down. Swirl. I'm not a big fan of tomato sauces. And then cheese, of course. The idiotiest, littiest bit of cheese the here. Cheese. At, or as the packaging says, Kraft mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. AKA not cheese. It does not come with a lot of cheese. This is like gonna give us two pizzas worth, which is already a criticism. Oh wait, we gotta put our pepperoni on there first. It comes with a shit ton of pepperoni. A boatload. We all it. And it's so big. For the, why wouldn't they like it make like mini, mini like okay. shape? Criticism: more cheese, less pepperoni. Less pepperoni. You get three pepperonis and it covers like the entire pizza, and we still got some left over. Wait, that's three slices for each. That's perfect. That is perfect. Cause that would yeah, that would get three slices. Mm -hmm. Just not enough cheese. Mhm. Mm okay. Are Are you ready? Just uh, yeah. bite into it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here three, we go. Two. One. It's like kind of sweet, like in a way. It shouldn't be sweet. Like the sauce is like. I mean, there's always a little bit of sugar in tomato sauce, but there's a lot of sugar in this tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. The texture. I like the texture. Really? I'd give it like three out of 10. I don't know. I'm not a big the fan. Texture. Flavor. Negative two. Out of 10. <laughs> well, so what, what are the judgment? What are the metrics here? Okay. In comparison. The sauce is like weirdly sweet. Yeah. There's a lot of sugar in it. It's not terrible, the sauce. No. But it doesn't need to be that sweet. Are we judging the components then? Yeah. First off, the crust. The crust is horrible. Crust. It's disgusting. One out of ten. One out of ten. It is barely edible. Like the texture is so bad. It's, it's like. It's, yeah. It's like chewy, but soft. It's like soft and chewy, but in a bad way. Yeah. It's not good. And there's pizza. no flavor to it. No. It's just like. It's like a soft cracker. We still have pepperoni, so we can like judge the pepperoni together. Okay. okay. It's pepperoni. It's it's weirdly soft. Like yeah, it is weirdly soft, and it has like a very, it's really smooth. Feel the pepperoni. Oh, I just had it. I know, but it's like so smooth. Like the texture wise, it's like. The flavor. I, it tastes it's just like, like pepperoni. pepperoni. Like there's no like. It's just pepperoni. It tastes like pepperoni, but the pepperoni. texture is a little bit weird. It's not as like, it doesn't have that like hearty chew yeah. like good pepperoni. But I, so I, I'd say what, like pepperoni, six out of 10. I agree. Six out of 10 on the pepperoni, the cheese. Let me grab like, there's like little pieces. Mm. Mm -mm. It's like chalky. Doesn't really have any flavor. <laughs> it really doesn't. It's like just. It's not, I, that's not cheese. It's pasteurized cheese product. Three out of 10? I was gonna say four. And the sauce, Blech. the sauce would be good with like half as much sugar. Yeah. So I would say it six is. out of 10. Yeah, I think we both, I think we both said that. I think, I think we said that too. Um, okay. Now we judge the Capri Sun. Oh, who doesn't love Capri Sun? Capri Suns are so good. Mm, six out of 10. I, I agree. I'd say seven though, because I love Capri Sun. Yeah. It's not as good as I remembered it being, or else I'd probably be on the same page. Mm -hmm. My favorite part about Capri Suns is that whenever people would say, oh, I'm at a Capri Sun, I would pretend I would have more. Oh, you blow it up? 
That's classic. That's I'm, classic. I have more Sun. Capri Sun than you. I, I don't know if I've ever had a Capri Sun that I didn't reinflate. Who needs like those like in like movies where they like use like bags to like hyperventilate in? You don't need a paper bag to blow when you go. I think it's because you're more likely to have a paper bag on hand than a Capri Sun. Unless you're just packing Capri Suns. You should pack Capri Suns, they're so good. The it's, classic it's crunch the bar. It is, it's bad chocolate. It's bad chocolate. I've had worse. I'll say five out of 10. Three out of 10. I really don't like it. Stay till the end of the video to get our final. Hi, I'm Matt, known to some as Father Andre. Do you like cool stuff? I like cool stuff. If you like any of this stuff here, check out my Etsy. Link below. All right. Up next is, drum roll please, Mr. Beast Lunchly. We have the pizza one because that is the only one that they had at the store besides the nacho one. And I it made me very sad. I didn't hear. tape things that you have to peel off. No, you just tear this. Oh, well. <laughs> the same as that one. Well, I didn't see that. I did not see that. And of say. course, Ooh. Prime Cherry Freeze. Prime Hydration. Not sponsored, by the way. Just... Yet. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. Let's get sponsored by Prime. KSI. KSI. Logan Paul. There's more cheese. Not a lot more cheese. Not a lot more cheese. And it looks real. Why is... The pepperoni is really red for some reason. That, hit, that smell hits you right away. Like... You don't it, it smells like uh, it smells like Papa Murphy's. Oh. It smells like a pizzeria. That's a good sign. Look at that. Look at that. We do have more cheese. Not a lot more cheese, but like more cheese. Looks like less pepperoni. And more, there's the same. Oh, there's the same three? amount okay. of crust. I thought there was more. It's because no, it kind of looks like it's. And lighter. it looks the same. It looks like the same thing. So what? We had nine slices of pepperoni in the last one. Yeah, let's see how many. Because there was three for each. Seven. Not even an even amount for... Uh, no. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that that's a way that Lunchables has already won. Is that how that works? Can you just get scissors? I don't see a slit. Scissors. Don't try this at home without a trusted adult. Unless you are an adult. Unless you are an adult. <laughs> Eating Lunchlies. Eating Lunchlies. I mean, easy... I take Lunchables to school every day, okay? It's because they're easy, they're fast, small packaging, and I'm always running late. I almost missed my bus today. First thing I want to try is the sauce. I'm going to get a little bit on my finger here. Oh, yeah? What's the sauce like? It tastes pretty similar, actually. Yeah? Mm hmm I think it's the same. I, I don't think so. I, the cheese looks real, and it's, like, actually in, like, shreds. The texture is better. It is. Doesn't have much of taste. Well, mozzarella doesn't really have a taste. That's true. So it tastes like it tastes like mozzarella. No, good mozzarella has a taste. Okay, so sauce. What did we give the last one? Was it six? I, I think, think I'm, so. I think I'm gonna stick it a six. I, I agree with you on the six. It's not my favorite. The cheese. I'm giving the cheese. What did we give the cheese last time? What I think I, I think we gave it like a. I think like I gave four. As far as mozzarella goes, yeah, this is probably this is uh, better. Probably closer to like a five or a six. This is yeah, I'd I'd say I'd say five. That's the only component we haven't tasted by itself yet. The oh, pep the pepperoni is thin. It's chewy. -er. The texture is more like real pepperoni. And it tastes like good pepperoni too. That's actually really good pepperoni. This is really good pepperoni. Eight out of ten pepperoni. It had good job. Good job, Mr. Beast. Cheers. The crust is better. It is. It's like thinner. It's not as thick. And it's like not was like in the way. Yeah. It it just it's just kind of a vehicle. Mm-hmm. But the texture is better. The soft. It's everything. less like a soggy cracker. Yeah. Overall, better. Better. I would not tremendously, but better. Mm-hmm. Sasha content. Oh, hi. <laughs> I was expecting worse from Mr. Beast, especially after Mr. Beast Burger. Mr. Oh. Beast Burger was bad. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mr. Beast. I would eat this again. I'd eat it again, too. I think it's pretty good. It's definitely better in comparison to that, like by a long shot, mm -hmm. I'd say. Uh, the pepperoni stands out. It adds a lot more flavor. 
in the, the texture, texture of the cheese. Better. Oh, in the texture mm -hmm. of the this, it's like so real pepperoni, real cheese. It's not horrible. I'd like it toasted. Mm -hmm. Next things first. The OGs will remember that. Not actually. That video was not that long ago. Oh, I can't open this. KSI and Logan Paul. Make those. You all need to make these easier to open. These are hard to open. All right. Cherry Freeze Prime. Does it taste like Capri Sun? That is much sweeter. Yeah. It's That's a lot of sugar. That is. How much sugar is in there? It says zero, so it must be artificial sweetener. I'm not a big fan of like cherry flavored things. Um, but this I like, I've heard that these like taste like like the you know like the oh the cherry, freeze pops. Yeah, that's yeah. what exactly it sounds. Okay, it, cherry freeze. I get it. Yeah, yeah it tastes like a, it, if you're going for a, a non frozen cherry, cherry popsicle. Yeah, exactly. This is it. That's what it tastes like. Um, I would not drink this as a regular beverage. Too sweet. I agree. I don't like this flavor, at least. It may be, I mean, there's other flavors. It's like, it's like liquid candy. But if that's your thing, uh, personally for me, too sweet, five. I don't even know what most of these things are. Ester gum, D alpha tocopheryl acetate. <laughs> Last thing. Now, we've both had. We haven't had the crunch one though. Oh, we haven't had the crunch one, okay. We what, have what had. What kind did we have? Just the normal. Hmm. We've had Mr. Beast chocolate. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, it's better like when it's not cold. Warmed up, yeah. yeah. Like, if, if you can like hold it in your hand for a minute or put it in your pocket. But like cold, it's like it's too hard. Better. Yeah, cold, it didn't really taste like anything and it was really hard. Down the hatch. Um. His normal chocolate bars don't really taste like this, though. No, I'd say his normal chocolate bars taste better. Mm -hmm. Five. Four. The crunch bars, not my favorite. I like normal. Normal milk chocolate ones are good. But this one, did we get dark chocolate? I might have gotten dark chocolate. Mm. That's probably I think so. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is, chat. The summary. Well, we gotta judge this one first. Oh, okay. Total. <sighs> Whatever the average is of the numbers. Anyways, Kyle, the moment you've all been waiting for, who wins? Lunchables or Lunchly? Lunchly. You were supposed to drum roll. Oh. Lunchly! Not by much, no. Uh, it is definitely better quality, I'd say. I think the, the only things that really made the difference... Pepperoni. And the cheese. And the cheese. Yeah. So anyways, Kyle, I hope you enjoyed this video. There are more to come, of course. And I will see you guys next week. Check me out on Whatnot. <laughs> Go do that.